All right, so just got out of the locker room with the players. Um, obviously very disappointed um, in the loss. Um, and really disappointed because of the way we played in the beginning. You know, I, I thought the guys did a really nice job of coming out. Um, offense scores, scores a touchdown on the first possession, uh, which was, that was our plan. Um, defense does a really good job of taking the ball away um, in the first half. Um, did a really nice job of that. And the one thing that we could have done better in the first half was capitalizing on those takeaways, you know, and then getting points, uh, which we did in the second half. You know, we got an interception and a fumble. Uh, we capitalized on points. We got 10 points off of turnovers in the second half. But uh, the main thing is, is that, you know, obviously the disappointment was the finish. You know, we didn't finish it as a football team, didn't finish it as coaches, as players uh, the right way. And there's a lot of plays to be had out there um, and good calls that we could have made in those situations um, to get us that victory. And uh, again, there's, I, I you know, accentuated the positives uh, with those guys because there was a lot of good football. Justin Fields came back you know, from injury, thought he played really well, ran the ball nice. Um, I thought when he did scramble, um, he avoided sacks um, you know, most of the time. And I know we had two. And he did a really good job of, of looking downfield, hitting some side pockets, hitting some things down the field. And I think that's growth um, there with him. Uh, but uh, again, we decided to, in the, in the, in the second half, we decided to, with the uh, inches there, fourth and inches, we decided to go, go ahead and kick that and go up 12 points with uh, a little over four minutes to go. And then we just needed to execute better from that point. Um, with that, open up to questions. Yep. Yeah. Um, you know, really the philosophy is you're, you're, you're playing your, your two-minute defense, which is your mix and your coverages, which we did. You know, we're throwing in pressures there as well. Um, you know, the big thing that you got to do in that moment is, uh, you know, tackle them when you get them inbounds, you know, so you're forcing them to use their timeouts and you're, you're doing a good job with that. And then uh, they have less timeouts, less time as they go. And again, they just went down the field too fast. I mean, it was like, what, six plays a minute, you know, 16 or something like that. But it was just, uh, just too fast. So we just got to do a better job. Yeah, the touchdown pass, they ran a high angle seven, got behind the, one of the DBs there. You know, so we just got to do a better job staying back. We always got to play high to low on that situation when you give, it that, give us that route. Yeah. Yeah, the first, the first play was, was a handoff to go inside, right, because we've been really running that play. Um, we know, uh, obviously, we, the cutback on the corner is where we wanted it. I thought they blocked it really well on that one. Um, you know, and the second one was a disconnect play, a potential disconnect, and they played way outside on that one, and uh, so we handed it off. Um, you know, then the third play was a, was a crosser over to uh, to DJ. You know, it was a crossing route, and uh, you know the free, if the free safety comes down, which he did, to take away the crosser, then we we're going to throw it over the top. And I thought he did, had a nice read there, and I thought he just missed it by a step, and uh, thought it was a good ball, and just got to run out of the catch. No, I mean, you know, obviously we're, we're talking to him about what we're going to do in terms of we need the first down, you know, and I think that's, uh, that's an important part of it. And, again, like I said, the first play, play call was fine. And, again, if they, they end up closing down, we're going to disconnect. And I, the pass play at the end was, was a good call. Um, so it's uh, just got to execute. Um, you know, you know, of course, you know, you can always guess the second part of it. You know, obviously we've been doing a really good job. I think he had over a hundred and some yards, right? Justin did, you know, not all of them all in scrambles and a lot of them on the yeah, 104 yards. You know, he, he did a good job running that play, you know, prior to that, you know, and, and uh, he did a good job there. He read it correctly. So um, that's where it is. Yep. Sure. Yep, you're always giving thought there, but going up by 12 at four minutes to go was, was our thought process there, and we like that. You guys are, are desperate and just trying to get down. Is that to you a continuation of some of the issues that Justin has had in terms of pocket awareness and ball security? No, no, that, 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 that right there, that last play, you know, you're going to hang on it to try to make a play, you know, and I don't think that is. Okay. You talking about in the third quarter? The one that took you up to 23 points, and that was the fourth and inches. The fourth and five, when you got down to 12. Yeah. Okay. So, so if, if, you, if you had to go up 12, was it just the fourth? Was, was the four? Was the four minutes right? Four minutes to go. Right. That was the fourth and five. That wasn't the fourth and inches. 
No, it was third and inches, right? We went for third and inches, right? Didn't get it, then we kicked. Right, that was like a long nine. Okay. Yeah, but both decisions were, were good. We're good on that. You know, go up nine, that's, that's, a, that's a full few scores. You know, and then to go up 12, that, again, that's, that's exactly what we wanted to do. Yep. Yeah, I mean, like I said, it's about finishing. It's about finishing. That's what I'm saying. The, the positives are there, you know, to be able to run the ball and take the ball away, and that's something we've been hunting, you know, with, uh, to taking the ball away and give ourselves good field position. Now, we can learn from that because, you know, we didn't get any points off of it in the first half. You know, so that, the, you know, the score could have been a little bit more, you know, started out, you know, in the half. So when you get the ball at the, at the field, the, the plus field on offense, man, you got to punch it in. You know, we'll, we'll take a field goal, but we got to get some touchdowns there, which we did in the second half. Yeah, I mean, they've been pretty, really good defense, um, you know, and, and they've been doing it all year. So uh, it's a strong group. It's a strong unit. And, you know, they played good enough to win today. And, uh, you know, we really didn't see any weaknesses there. We just thought that, uh, you know, when they do play coverage or match coverage and play man, um, where they're not, uh, you know, having a spy in there for him, you know, that's when we had our opportunities to take off and run. I thought he did a nice job of that. Um, but, uh, you know, overall, I thought Justin uh, had a good day today. Yeah, there was a couple instances there. You know, that those are those are huge plays. You know, because it forces timeouts and it also forces. You know, obviously you waste time and all that stuff. But uh, those are big plays. When you put this on your defense, it's one minute to play one time. Mm -hmm. you know, okay, what's the thought process now? How do you build them back up? They have a chance. Yeah, to yeah. You know, they've been playing really good defense. You know, the last six weeks and they played really good defense today at times. Um, you know, so we'll just accentuate the positives and, and look at the plays that we need to get better on, you know, and, and uh, you know, what could have been called better? You know, it's both, it's me and them, you know, it's not just them, you know, so I got to, we got to look at it and see what we could have done better. Yeah, same thing, same thing. I mean, that's, that's where the game was, right? You know, we had a, a couple of opportunities to get some picks, you know, so we got to make sure we catch those, you know, that's a, that's a big thing. And, and again, we were working on that, you know, so really trying to take the drill, you know, from the game. You know, what was the situation, you know, like last week with Sanborn, you know, he dropped back, you know, in that last part of it, or, you know, maybe Tyreek, you know, in that slant pass last week, you know, now he caught one, you know. So, you know, and Tyreek made some really good plays today. You know, he tackled well, and obviously that pick was, was really, really good. And uh, But, yeah, you try to do that as a coach. You take it from the game and just start drilling it, you know, because that's what, that's what happens, and you got to make those plays. When you, look at, when you look at Justin's overall game, the production, the 169 yards passing, 104 rushing, is that enough for you guys to be a successful offense, or do you need more production in the passing game than 169 yards? Yeah, I mean, you know, when you always want, you always want major production, right? You know, like, you know, he's had you know a couple games this year, and and again, when the numbers are the numbers, you know, obviously we ran the ball really well uh, today, and we were controlling the ball, the game that way. Uh, much of the second half, and uh, we just got to continue to do that. But uh, we'll look at the tape and you know see where he needs to improve and see where everybody needs to improve. Yeah, you said well, you're trying to keep a focus on the positive, so that's a really dejected locker room. How do you keep this team committed and fighting the way you want? Well, I mean, they're they're tough. They're in they're in that room for a reason, you know, because they got grit. They're tough, you know. They're tough guys, right? You know, so tough physically and tough mentally, you know, and uh, they have that mindset. And, uh, you know, they've had a lot of adversity. You know, we've had a lot of adversity as the Chicago Bears, and it's only going to make us tougher. And uh, to me, there's a lot of things you can build off of this, this, this game right here. And really, the last six weeks, you can build off of. And, uh, you know, we're, we're going to look at it. We're going to get better from it. And then we're going we're to move on. 24-hour rule, we're going to move on to the next week.